Hello everyone. So today we are going to study about actinomorphic flowers. Uh, so now here I have taken the example of chili flower. So that's why I have written actinomorphic flowers in chili. So first let us see what are actinomorphic flower. So a radially symmetrical flower is termed as an actinomorphic flower. Now radially symmetrical means you can divide this flower into two equal parts by passing a plane through the center of the flower in any direction. So here you can see uh, we can divide this flower by passing a vertical plane. So you will get two equal hearts. Equal yes. hearts. So you will get two petals on the left hand side and two petals on the right hand side. Now this is not a chili flower. This is a brassica flower. You can pass a horizontal plane like this. You will get two petals on the top side and two petals on the bottom side. So again you can divide this into two parts but the plane should pass through the center. You can pass a plane diagonally like this. Again, you will get two equal parts like uh, if you consider this plane, then you will get one petal and two half petals on this side and one full petal and two half petals on this side. Now, let us see the flowers of chili. So here I have taken three different species. The first one is capsicum annum. So let us try to divide this flower into two equal parts. So here I have passed a plane. Okay. So here you can say I have passed a plane through the center of the flower. Now you can see I have got two full petals and one half petal on the left hand side. You can consider this as the left hand side. And again two full petals and one half petal on the right hand side. So in this way you can divide this flower into two equal parts by passing a plane through the center of the flower. Now, let us take another example. The second one is capsicum bucketum. So again, here, uh, divide it like this. Okay. So again, we will see that you have got two full petals on the upper side and one half petal. And on the lower side, again, you have got two full petals and one half petal. So you have divided this, we have divided this flower into uh, two equal parts by passing a plane through the center of the flower. Such type of flowers are called as actinomorphic flowers. Now let us see the third one. Here it is capsicum pubescens. Again, you can divide it like this. Okay. So you get three petals on the top and three petals on the bottom. Or we can divide it like this. You'll get two full petals and two half petals on the left hand side, and then two full petals and two half petals on the right hand side. Again, you can divide it diagonally like this you get three petals here on this side three petals and three petals on this side in the same way we can divide this also so here you get two full petals on the left hand side and one half petal and two full petals on the right hand side and one half petal okay. again you can also divide it like this same way you can divide this one also like this but the condition is that the plane should pass through the center of the flower. So such flowers which can be divided into two equal halves by passing plane uh, through the center of the flower. The plane can be horizontal, vertical or diagonal that depends upon you. Uh, so such type of flowers are called actinomorphic flowers. Hope you have understood the concept and now you can identify which flowers are actinomorphic. So thank you very much.